YouTube. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for stopping by today. If you clicked on this video, you probably know I'm gonna be building a router leveling jig. Um, it's essentially a sled for your router. Um, and you can use this to level things like, like these logs. Um, so I have these little cookies here. I've got a couple of them that I've cut off some logs and I wanna flatten them. I do have a planer. However, this is a little wide for my planer and uh, planing end grain of wood is can be a recipe for disaster. You could build one of these if you wanted to level slabs or say for example you didn't have a planer and you wanted to build a little glue up slab out of maybe some pallets or other old wood. You could build a leveling jig for your router which is much cheaper than buying a planer. So if you maybe have time and not money and you want to work a piece of wood that is not flat to be flat and you don't have any expensive equipment you can go ahead and buy yourself a router and then with a couple other saws you have laying around and some, and some materials, you can build a jig that you can use to level out um, logs or any glue ups or any, basically any other piece of wood that you want to get flat. So let's get right into it. So basically what I have here is I have a couple pieces of MDF. This is face MDF. Uh, these are one by fours and uh, it's based on three sides. So one side has no finish and three sides do. I am selecting this because it has very low friction and it can slide very nice on itself. Um, and then what I also have here is I have two tracks. Um, these are actually mounting brackets for wire shelving. So, so if you've ever seen wire shelving, I'm sure you have. This is like really cheap stuff you can get at Home Depot. It's really easy to install. Um, anyways, I have some of this set up in my apartment, but we moved from there. So I have some tracks left over, or some brackets. I have a bunch of these that I'm not using right now. So because these are metal and really smooth, these are going to be really nice for my router. I've also checked them with my router to see that these actually slot into the, the bottom fence on my router. Or I don't know. Is that a fence? What is that? My deck. These slot into the deck on the router very nicely. So this should all make sense as I get farther into this video. Um, but yeah, these are the basic things I have. So I have two pieces of MDF. I have two of these tracks. I have a scrap piece of plywood here, which I'll also use for this. So I'll show you how we do it. This should be a pretty quick one. Let's do it. So I'll start by cutting the side skirts or guide boards. I'm not really sure what to call these. Um, but yeah, you're going to want four of them, and two of them are going to want to be the same length, and the other two are going to want to be the same length. This can be a square or rectangle. The key is that they're all the same height, and the top is very flat. Then I assemble the rectangle using an eighth inch drill bit for a pilot hole and a countersink bit. If you're using MDF, you're definitely going to want to use a countersink bit, or you'll spall out the wood. If you're using plywood, you can probably get away without using a countersink bit but you definitely want to drill a pilot hole no matter what to avoid splitting the wood. I'll repeat that the most important part of this is that the top has to be completely flat. If the ends don't line up, that's okay, but the top has to be perfectly, perfectly flat. Now that my box is assembled, I'm gonna come over to my table saw with that scrap piece of plywood, and I'm gonna cut off a rip about four or five inches tall. This doesn't need to be exact, but it does need to be tall enough to accept the track that I'm using and deep enough for the router bit that I'll be using. This might vary for you. Now I'll measure the base plate of my router, and I'm gonna add about four inches to this and cut that length out of the rips I just took out of my table saw. This will make sense why in a minute. Then I lay out a notch on these boards, which is the width of the base plate on my router. I screw these together so I only have to cut them out once. Then I cut the notch out with my jigsaw. Now I'm going to grab both my tracks and screw them to this piece of plywood so they stay together as one unit. As always, drill a pilot hole to make sure you don't split the wood. So is this starting to make sense? So this is going to be a sled which your router will slot into, and the box that we built before is going to be the guide. So now I have to just attach the other one to the other side. Okay, we're so close to being complete here. So we just check to see that the router fits and it does, except there's one issue here. The bit is running into the stopper piece at the end. This is a super easy fix. We're just gonna turn on our router and just drive it right through this slot, except I forgot to film that. So I'll show you me cutting the deeper notch. Oh no, mistakes were made. <laughs> So as you can see here, I shouldn't have cut the slot into the guide box. I should have just cut it into the stopper. 
Um, this is okay because it's still effective as a sled because I built the guide box big enough. Um, I can always cut this shorter and shorten it up and remove the notch later, but yeah, that was a mistake. So consider subscribing to our channel. I'd love to have you back for more. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one.